Hey YouTubers, it's your girl Shannon from Tesla and Chill and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a DIY project with you today and it's something that stemmed a little bit out of necessity. We had a little bit of damage happen to our Model 3. If you can see behind me, we had um, a little bit of damage happen to the rear wheel here right on the rim. We've got a few big gashes that have been taken out of it. Um, when it happened, I told my husband the car was in autopilot. For some reason, he was not completely convinced of that. But I told him it was something that definitely did not happen last Tuesday at 2.30 in the parking lot of Target when I was cruising around looking for the closest parking spot. And I definitely did not run over a curb. Between you and me, that's exactly what happened. But regardless, there is damage that needs to be fixed. It hurts my heart when I tell you because I actually... I felt the gash as it happened. You know that feeling like when you drop your cell phone on concrete and it's like, oh, did my phone break? Yeah, that was the exact same feeling that I had when I heard this happen. But we are gonna fix it. I know it won't look 100% better, but we're gonna make it look a little bit better. So I went online, thank you Amazon, two day shipping. And I got this little beauty right here. This is the Dupli Color Scratch Fix All-in-One. It has got the prepper, the paint, and the clear coat all in this little pen here. And I got this particular one because it says it's the only brand offering tested and approved colors by vehicle manufacturers. So let's take a look inside. Now, there is a three-step process here, and let me show you up close. So the first step is to use this little hard pen tip, and basically you go through and you take out any like rust or debris that might be in there, um, which is pretty easy. And then the second step is to do the actual painting. So we would take this part off, and you've got this little pin if you've got like some fine areas to get. You just kind of like press the tip in and it brings the paint out. And then what I'll probably end up using is this little paintbrush here. So right inside, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a nail polish paintbrush. There we go. That way you can access a whole bunch of paint all at once. And I'm hoping the color matches pretty well. I got the Ford CX Dark Shadow Gray. Um, even though, of course, it's not a Ford, I'm hoping the grays will be pretty similar. Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> But once the paint is put on there, the last and final step is to do the clear coat. So the clear coat is right in here. I don't want to open it upside down. <laughs> Let's see. And you pull out the little paintbrush here. And it almost reminds me of doing like a clear coat when you're doing nail polish. Um, but a nice handy little brush. So we are going to get started here. I'm going to show you the damage up close and we can get started fixing it. All right, here's an up close view of our rim and we've got about three spots we're gonna be focusing on today. We'll start up here at the top. We've got this good little gash here and there's a little bit of metal that's been taken out of that. That's a pretty good one. This small little one, it's not too noticeable, but since we're out here fixing the others, we might as well put some paint on this one. But the mother load is all the way at the bottom, and this is where the worst of the damage happened. If you can see here, it pretty much extends from about here all the way to here. Uh, so I'm really sorry to that curb at Target. <laughs> um, but we will get started fixing it. We're gonna do the first step of the repair and we are going to use the tip of this little tool and we are going to go ahead and get the debris and yucky stuff that might've settled in out of there. Okay, so we are gonna start with the prepping tool and we're gonna go ahead and scrape out any kind of debris that could have settled in there. And it's pretty easy to use. You just kind of go along the edges and really not a lot has settled in there. It really happened pretty recently. Uh, so nothing too bad, but it stays uh, nice and sharp here. Let's see. This little thing, it holds up. I mean, the metal is pretty sharp, um, but it's not taking any bits out of the brush. This one's a pretty deep one. <laughs> I think maybe it might just smooth it out a little bit if there's some rough edges. 
But now that that step is done, let's go on to step two and we will start adding our paint. Okay, so we are gonna do the paint. Um, I think I mentioned before, it comes with two areas to access the paint. The first is this tiny little paint tip. Um, you've probably used like a paint pen before, maybe at like summer camp or something. Um, you just kind of like push the tip in and the paint comes out. So I shook it just a little bit earlier. We'll shake it one more time. But I have a feeling we're gonna be using the other side where it's got that brush part. But let's see kind of the flow. Oh, it comes out pretty well. Let's see, maybe we can use this little part for up top and the smaller one, and then maybe the brush for the lower part. It comes out really easily. Let's see, I'm just going along the edges. And so far the color is matching pretty well. I'm really surprised with how well it's matching. Let's see. We'll get all up in there. I've got a few little dribbles. Maybe I'm putting it on a little bit too thick. Let's see, you guys can come in and see. So we've got just a few little drips coming down. Let's see, let me I just wipe that away. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm super surprised. I like that. That is coming along very nicely. Okay, so we're going to get this little spot here now. And I'm really loving this paint pen. I thought it was gonna come out maybe a little bit slower, but it's got a really good flow. Come in for a closer look, take a peek at this. I should have taken like a before and after shot, but can you see how well that kind of blends in? That looks really good. I'm just kind of like using my fingers to scrape along the edges here, make sure we get all the little drips. But look at how good that looks, that is amazing. Okay, now the hard part is going to be doing the lower part, so let's get started on that. Let's see, we'll set you guys up here. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not even on the best angle. But let's see. This is filling in very, very nicely. <laughs> I feel like I'm like a dentist filling in a cavity or something. <laughs> You're supposed to keep the pen kind of upright. I know I've got it kind of angled right now. Let's see. It's still working really well. And it's sticking really well. Even though it comes out thinly, it really sticks to the damaged areas. So let me stop here and I'll show you kind of like a side by side. Let's see, I'll show you kind of what's been done and what hasn't been done yet. So let's bring you in and you can see, whoa. Okay, so can you tell that this part has the paint on it and this part doesn't? That blends in pretty nice. Okay, let's keep going and finish it up. All right, so we're gonna finish up this little area here. See, I do kinda wanna try the brush part. So let's see what happens when we do that. Just like painting nails. And that's pretty easy to use. The bristles are a little bit flimsier, of course, because it's a brush instead of that pen tip. Let's see, I feel like it's not getting quite as deep as I want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and use the pen side again. There we go. It almost has like that nails on a chalkboard kind of sound <laughs> and usually that kind of like freaks me out but we're almost done
do those final steps. Okay, so we've just finished doing the three spots that we were really focusing on, and take a look at this. It really looks beautiful. I'm actually super surprised by how well the color matches, and I really thought I was going to be using this brush part a whole lot more than I did, um, but just using this pen tip was really accurate, and I feel like it really got in a whole lot better than the brush would. So I definitely recommend using the pen side, but look at how good this looks already. We've got some great color matching, and it just fills in really nicely right along the edges here. You can really hardly tell there was a lot of damage done, but we're going to let this dry for at least about 20 minutes, and then come back out, and you will do it the clear coat this way. <laughs> Okay guys, it has been well over 20 minutes since we applied this first coat of paint here. It's actually been about two and a half hours since I put this first coat on. I went inside to let it dry and then I started watching some old episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians on Hulu and I got sucked in by their drama. They always bring it, it's so good. And I really can't decide who my favorite Kardashian is. I go back and forth, I switch a lot. Sometimes it's Courtney, and then it's Chloe, and then it's Kim, but then I always go back to Courtney. But then sometimes I think Scott is my favorite, and I know he's not technically a Kardashian, but he always brings the drama and he keeps things entertaining. I always look forward to what he has to say, so I think it might be him right now. But we are gonna switch gears here. And I see what I just did there. That was an accident, but I like it. We're gonna switch gears here and we are gonna take a look and see how this first coat dried. I'm actually super, super impressed with it. I think the color match is like spot on. Um, you can still see the gashes in the metal, but it's not super noticeable like it was before. So let me bring you guys in. I'm gonna flip the camera around for you. I'll just show you this top portion right here and it has dried very nicely. I'm super pleased with how it looks, but we are going to go ahead and put on the clear coat. That way we can just seal everything in and make sure it'll be good for the future. And I always open this upside down. I think this is how you do it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So again, this is just the clear stuff that'll go right on top and just seal it all in. I kind of think of this as adding the top coat or the top coat for nail polish. And we'll just paint that right on. It goes on really smoothly. And I'm just trying to do it like a thin layer, but still keep it like pretty consistent. All right, and now let's get this big part on the bottom. And this is something you could definitely do in a day, really just a few hours. I think if I didn't interrupt myself watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, uh, I could have had this done a whole lot sooner. <laughs> but it was worth it. We'll start on this end. Here we go. Almost done, and we will let that dry. We'll wait another about 20 minutes or so, and then we'll come out and we'll see the final product. All right, easy peasy. It has been 20 minutes since we have done the clear and final coat on this rim, and I have to say that I am super happy with how it turned out. Now, you can still tell that there were some gashes there, but it looks a thousand times better than when we started. Come on in for one last close-up look here, and you can see how beautiful the paint has blended in, and the clear coat really just kind of seals it all in, and it just blends in with the shininess of the rest of the tire here. Now this was really my first DIY project for a vehicle. Uh, usually a lot of my projects end up as Pinterest fails. <laughs> um, but if you've done any DIY projects to your vehicle, let me know what it was. Just drop it in the comments below. Now this is going to wrap up this video, so thanks for watching.